I'm going to title today's video A Tough Choice because Hans in Kenya has a, a kind of an interesting question that uh, he'd like answered. Hans writes, imagine the two following setups. Now, listen closely because I had to read this twice. A quality amp, quality DAC, very high quality two-way mini monitors like a Harbeth, great speakers, or something in the $6,000 range, delivering lossless 1644, 2494, 92, um, and um, via a system like AirPlay that samples to 1648 uh, and has less jitter management. Um, or actually 96, 2496 is what he meant, six. Or B, sorry, I'm getting lost here <laughs> already, a quality amp, a quality DAC, mid-level quality two-way mini monitors, eh, say around $1,500, a lossless bit perfect 1644-2496 delivery, and which would be better? He recognizes the world is full of compromises, and I think that's a, a reasonable question and one that a lot of people struggle with. I mean, let's face it, there are no such things as perfect systems. They just don't exist. We have to find the one that works best for us within our means. And with what we're trying to accomplish, I, I, I can remember years ago having to make these very decisions, whether to put my money in speakers or electronics or you know, uh, buying the new sexy amplifier that really would float my boat. I remember the very first tube amp I bought was a, a Dynaco. Um, can't remember the name of the Dynaco, but it was, I remember the, the output uh, coils were wrapped around the, capa the power supply capacitors, and it had a couple of big, beautiful, glowing tubes in there, and that was a very proud moment for me. I really loved that thing. And I had sacrificed quite a bit to get that because it was expensive at the time. And hey, I was broke. Listen, I was the guy who learned how to flip the electricity meter upside down back in the days when they were a little bit cruder than they are today, plug it back in and the meter would run backwards so that the, the more electricity I used, the lower the bill would go. And just before the meter man would show up, I'd flip it back around. And he'd come out there and like, this guy sure doesn't use much power. But I mean, that's how I survived back in those days. Um, I, I learned to climb poles and reconnect disconnected cable television. It was, yeah, it was, it was a struggle to, um, uh, to, to make ends meet. But we make those decisions. And I'm going to have to say, Hans, the first choice would be my choice. And the reason is the speakers. I would much sooner have an excellent pair of speakers and lesser electronics than the other way around. And, and look, I make electronics. I mean, I'd sooner sell you some great electronics like our Stellar Stack. I mean, there's, there are few products that uh, get people involved in this hobby than our Stellar products. I mean, they are, as their name implied, Stellar. They really are. They're great stuff. But I'm not trying to sell you anything here. So my advice, get the Harbeths because they are terrific loudspeakers. Get yourself a decent quality amplifier. There are a number of them out there. Just don't scrimp. Uh, don't, you know, don't shave off too much. Do what you can. Um, but build your foundation because a strong foundation based around a good pair of loudspeakers can tolerate poor electronics a lot better than great electronics around poor loudspeakers. And I, I'm always a fan of trying to build a firm foundation around quality products as best you can. And I also believe that it's probably a little easier to move a lesser quality amplifier and DAC uh, with, and, and get something decent without spending a whole bunch of money than it is to do that with speakers. So speakers would be my choice. And um, I'm sorry you have to, to uh, stress over these decisions, but hey, it's all going to work out great because in the end, you're going to get music and I'm sure it'll sound just great. Thank you for asking. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.